Hey everybody, I am so excited for today's video. It's awesome. It is sponsored by Timu. If you have not heard about Timu yet, you need to go check them out. You're missing out. They have everything and anything you could want. Right now they're having a Mother's Day sale so you really need to go check them out if you're looking for something special for mom. I will have all of their information, everything I received from Timu, as well as a coupon code in my description box down below. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created, but you already knew that. So today I have a Timu haul. I got this beautiful, I'm gonna open it. I'm sorry for all the crinkling guys, but it's how they're packaged, I'm sorry. So it's this little metal sign and it says, I'll put it over here, there. Home sweet home. And it's got little hooks on the bottom so you can use it for like, you know, your keys or um, I don't know whatever you want. <laughs> um, and it comes with some screws to hang up on the wall. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, it's just a bunch of cardboard. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not gonna take it off of this. <gasps> Look at how beautiful it's the silhouette of the horse. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Love it. This stuff, I've already had some of this from Timo. And I love it. I love using this stuff. Like, no lie. Love this stuff. Sorry guys. They are eucalyptus. Look at how pretty those are. They're so great to use, honestly. Like it's this is a single stem, so you're gonna want extras, you know, if you wanna build it up, but they're so nice to work with. You cut the ends off. I made a wreath for, <laughs> surprise, I made a wreath for an upcoming video <laughs> with some that I had. And look at that, gorgeous. I will have a coupon code for 30% off if you are a first time user to Timu. It'll be in my description box down below, as well as right here. And um, yeah, I will have everything that I purchased. I will have everything that I chose listed in the uh, description box down below. So you can just click on the link if there's something that you're interested in, it will bring you right to it. DIY number one. So I have this little canvas I got from Timu and this little hanger. It's like a scroll kind of thingy. Um, it's got magnets. So one of the magnets did come out. So I just put a little hot glue in the hole and placed the magnet back in there. No harm, no foul. Everything is fine. <laughs> So um, this is the top piece. It's got the little hanger and all I am going to, this is a very simple DIY, if you want to call it a DIY. Um, so I'm taking the hanger. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue and then I am going to place the canvas in there and there you go. And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom and i mean it doesn't get any easier than this that's all i'm doing to this project 
that's it. How stinking cute is this? It's very small, but I love it. Let me know what you guys think of this one. So I want to let you know that I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you would like to support my channel that way. But either way, stop on by my social medias and say hi. I would love to hear from you. DIY number two. I have the horse and the home sweet home sign that I got from Timu and this um, picture I got from Hobby Lobby for 90% off after Christmas. Once I figure out the placement of these two pieces, I am going to paint this in the white Waverly chalk paint and the frame in the Folk Art Rich Black. I got this paper backdrop from Hobby Lobby. It was $1.99, it's like 12 feet. Um, so I just cut out enough to fit on the inside of this picture and I'm using my Elmer's school glue stick um, to glue the paper down. Now, I didn't get it straight the first time so I did end up having to lift it up and reposition it but it all worked out in the end. And I just want to apologize for my voice. It is playoff hockey season and I was at a game on a Friday night and um, they lost, but I did a lot of yelling. So here's my voice. Again, I apologize. It will get better. So now I have everything straight <laughs> the way it should be. I'm just taking my Cricut um, spreader thing. What the heck is it called? <laughs> you know, you see it. I'm using that just to make sure that there are no air bubbles and that everything is down where it should be. Now I'm taking the horse silhouette and my E6000, I'm going to put some E6000 for the long hold and I am using some of my um, hot glue for the quick hold. <laughs> and I'm just going to place that on the right hand side of this picture. Once I have everything glued down, I do take some of my clamps and um, try to hold the horse down, uh, but um, doesn't work so well. So I do use, I kind of improvise a little bit. I use some paint bottles and my jar with my half beads just to kind of hold everything down. Okay, once everything is dry, I am just going to take some of my jute cording that I get from Amazon and I'm going to hot glue all the way around the inside and it's just to make it look nicer and also to hold the paper down in case the edges decide they want to lift it all. Now, because that home sweet home is black and the frame is black, I decided that I was going to paint just a small section that's going to be behind the home sweet home in the white Waverly chalk paint. And that way the words, the letters will pop a little. So here I am just putting two coats of the white Waverly chalk paint, like I said, just in like the very center of that frame. I dried that with my heat gun and now I'm taking some E6000 and just um, 
nope i didn't use any hot glue so i'm going to take my e6000 and then i am going to use a couple of screws and i'm going to they're short screws i'm going to just screw this home sweet home sign onto the frame and then i put a clamp in the center just to um kind of hold hold it in place while the e6000 cures underneath i hope that makes sense <laughs> and then i do take some more of that black um folk art paint and i just paint the heads on the screw so that they don't show i couldn't find any black ones the ones that came with the sign were like i don't know three inches long it just wasn't gonna work so um now i am taking some of that eucalyptus that i also got from timu and i did start out with five um like stems and I am taking some of that jute cording and I'm just going to wrap it around the stem. I do end up adding a couple more um, stems to the back and I just wrap around with some more of the cording just to cover the stems of that. And then I take that cording and I just make a simple shoestring bow. And I'm going to add that to the front of the eucalyptus bunch once I get it glued into place. And now here I go with some hot glue. I'm going to put a bead down the back of the jute cording the stem and hot glue that into place and then i'm just going to take that little bow and i'm going to hot glue that to the front of this bundle Then I'm just taking one of the little chippy brushes from the Dollar Tree and some of the white Waverly chalk paint and I go around the um, frame and then I do go over the horse just to kind of make it pop a little. And um, yeah, I go over the home sweet home sign as well. And now I'm taking three of my little half beads and I put it where the screw holes were on the horse, paint them black, and that's it for this one. I am so in love with this piece. I saw Brenda from Rustic and Lace do something similar to this and I loved it. So tipping my hat to Brenda, I hope that you like this. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I want to thank Timu for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun making these projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you next time.